only way you're getting a date is with a bottle of chloroform. <laughs> Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hey, what's going on, Ope? How are you? Not bad. Hey, listen. First off, you guys did absolutely the right thing, locking that imbecile up or having him locked up, doing the bomb threat. You're a cop, Second, by the way. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Um, secondly, you could take this a lot further if you want. You mentioned that this moron is making, we made a lot of calls to you in the past. Uh -huh. I got a few more uh, of his calls, too, by the way. If you wanted to... You could have him locked up for, like, aggravated harassment. He's calling you over the phone and giving you business all the time, messages like that. I mean, this guy's an EDP. And anyone who says, anyone says that you didn't do the right thing, who knows? He's, he's look at him. He's a mess. I can... Lloyd is around. He hangs around the radio station. He got no life. Him and his stupid high-pitched voice. By de facto, you could have him locked up. <laughs> By de facto. We, we completely control his life right now. We can make it a living hell. And we haven't you, decided you what really we're going to do yet. You really do. You get order protection on him. I mean, God forbid, let's just say, and what happened to Mark is just, it's unreal. But God forbid, yeah. let's say Mark did this to them on a long shot. What would Radio Ed be screaming? He'd be calling them all types of things. They have Psycho Mark sprung up worse than he already is. Right. It's a mess. Don't let up on them. This is, he took it a step further. And I got to say this, and I hate, I hate to do this because I do like Spaz. He's a funny guy. But <laughs> there is one guy on this earth, dumber than Spaz, and it's that Eric idiot. All right, cool, man. Take care, guys. Love you. Thank you, Joe. Take care. Bye. Bye. What are you laughing at, Anthony? Nothing. It's, it's, it's absolutely true. Like if the situation was reversed... That uh, that caller, that a guest, would not be on our program, not be allowed to be on our program. You know, we almost got in trouble because some fan of ours stood up in a stockholders meeting and asked uh, the big boss if we were ever going to get syndicated. We didn't put him up to it or anything. It was just a fan of the show wondering, and we got like screwed for that, like it was a plant or something. Meanwhile, we put on probation for that. A fan and frequent guest of another show phones a, a bomb threat. To a, a sister station, and um, you know, he's on there Monday, chatting about it. <laughs> Amazing. Hey Frank, what's going on? What's up, fellas? Hey. I hey. uh, made the mistake last night of trying to listen to the other station, and their overnight DJ is beating up on you guys. Um, and when is he working? Oh, yeah, he's overnight. Oh, after midnight. I, I yeah. see. So, uh, so cool. you and how many people heard that? <laughs> well, my question is, you got a gag order on you, but they're allowed to say your names anytime they want? Where's the, where's the fairness in that? I say, take the gloves off and see if they can fight. It's not about fairness. It's about the way it is. It's not about fairness. It's not about taking the gloves off. We continue doing our show and talking about whatever we want, and they, you know, they're dumping out down the hall. Yeah. We, have, we haven't backed down once. Right. So we have uh, the powers that be of... Put uh, certain uh, rules in place, and you know, they have people to make sure they're enforced, regardless of what we do. That's, a, that's such BS, though, because if you know who's got all the other DJs over there at the other station beating up on you guys, I mean... That's a non-issue, though, because it's the, the station, uh, the other station, it's, it's music. It's, right. it's like, you know when someone is talking and there's a nice song on the jukebox that you want to hear? And they're like yapping over it and it pisses you off. That's what that is over there. That's all. Anytime I'm tuning over there, it's not to hear their sparkling personalities. Right. It's because I want to hear some goddamn rock and roll. I want to hear some, some, some music. I want to hear break stuff and all that. Yeah, stuff. right. Yeah. I want to hear cool music. Well, that's what he did. It's like, play the song. Yeah. Shut up. I could care less. That's it. They're not in a position. They think they're in a position to do something over there, but they're... they're I got both hands tied behind the back. Frank, figure it out. Everyone trying to ride our coattails. Everyone talking about the ONA show. Right. No, you're right. We you're have, right. We, meaning Aunt I, uh, everyone that works for the show, and you guys, we have created a, a fine little uh, little show here in New York, and uh, you know a lot of people are a little jealous about that. So keep talking about us. We don't care. Keep writing about us in the paper. We don't care. Well, that means you guys are doing good when you get print. Of course. Well, I tell you what, I, I've learned what a hypocrite the other guy is. And I've learned that he's been filling my head full of crap since '86. Well, right. and I, you know what? I, I'm almost done listening. To, I pretty much am done listening to him. All right, there you go. Thank you. All right, fellas, keep doing it. I love you. Bye. 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 I don't know why he's got to get in on every article written about us. Who's got his wackos coming after you guys now? Well, 
That's an interesting little story that was in the paper today. <laughs> God damn, it's it's just getting out of friggin' control. <laughs> it's really out of control. I'm not. There are people being incarcerated. I'm not spending the night in jail. <laughs> But say. <laughs> oh! But say. Oh, what are you doing to me? But say. Oh, that, that hurts me. But sex. You sound like a woman. But sex. Yeah. Who's brave now? That's what you get. You know? Time to get the tape deck ready. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> People of the media. People who uh, just want to. Have something you can play for your friends. It's like ice cold in here right now. No, Do you think not. this clip is going to be circulated as much as, let's say, the Casey Kasem clip? Oh, yeah. yeah. Definitely. This one's got to get on Napster, man. Yeah. Once it's like on Napster, it'll just, it's going to be like the bubonic play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Keith, so get your tape players ready. Keith writes, uh, why is it that everyone else that works for your company can talk about you, but when you mention them, they bleep your show? Yeah. I, I'm still trying to figure that one out. I don't know. I really don't know. Can I say it? I'll tell, I'll tell you no. why. Because, no. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. Turn that goddamn mic down. Yeah, I'm turning it, it off. The people are going to leave in droves. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. All right, and once you, uh, I'm reading in some feedback. So what do you want to say about this? Are we going to go into the story? Yeah. All right. Yeah. yeah it was in the post today. And uh, the, the reason we are wording the article the way we are going to word it is because if we use names, they will just dump out down the hall. And that's the only reason. We're not yeah. following any gag order, but we have to... We have to, you know, work around it so we can get this info on the air for you guys. We could read it the way it is, and but you'll, you'll only hear about 20 seconds of right, it. Right, they're going to punch out down the hall. Right. Well, it seems uh, Radio Edit, one of his uh, little whack pack, I guess they call it, um, phoned in a bomb threat. Phoned in a bomb threat to uh, my voicemail. Right. It Opie's ended up on voicemail. Opie's voicemail. And... Um, Bomb threats, especially to radio stations, are taken very seriously. Bomb threats anywhere are taken pretty seriously. But to a radio station, it's, it's akin to an act of terrorism. Yes, it is. It really is. It's a communications uh, 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 platform. Right. It's a radio station. Right. When, when, when there are wars, the first places you take out are radio and TV stations. Right. You know, so bomb threats against the radio stations, very, very serious. Not serious enough, I guess, that the guy that made it can't be on the same company as other radio stations, which baffles me, boggles the mind. But, um, yeah. But you guys aren't getting the full story from uh, message boards, other radio shows, no. uh, The Post. No. It was, uh, yeah, uh, people know him as High Pitch Eric, who has called this show in the past, I only wish to God we had saved the messages uh, from him trying to get on this show as a guest. Not even a guest. He wanted to work on this show. Yeah. He says that he can help us He can help us beat you-know-who. Right. And that is the God's And we're not even in the same time, so that's ridiculous. I am going to start saving every single message because, you know, it, it, it comes into play down the road. Yeah. So we blew him off because he's, he's a waste of time, waste of human flesh. Yeah. And so, uh, obviously, he got really pissed off, and he, uh, he decided to... And he's left other messages that weren't uh, threats... So we just didn't acknowledge him. It's like, whatever. Yeah, who cares? Whatever. Uh, but then uh, we got a message, and it was the same rambling, cursing, nasty call. But then, hidden in the middle, oh, a threat to blow up this building. Right. Now, call it what you like. You know, the guy's a kook. Oh, you should know it's uh, that he wasn't serious or this, that, or the other thing. Don't care. Don't care. Bomb threat. And a certain individual wasn't giving you all the details. It wasn't a, it wasn't, uh, a car bomb. It no, wasn't, it wasn't a threat against Opie's car like, like some uh, people would have you believe. Someone was downplaying. It was, it was a threat against a radio station in this company that we all work for, Anthony. Let me speculate as to why they would like you to believe that it was a threat against Opie's car. Because it seems like it's not as big as a threat against an Infinity Broadcast property. Which would then probably ban him from other... Infinity Properties. Right. Well, there you go. So, it to put all the rumors aside and stuff, 
Get your tape players ready, people. Here's the actual call. This is fun. Here's You're going to love it. Here's the actual call. I don't hear, I don't hear uh, that he was going to blow up my car. Someone wimped out because they knew all the facts. Get him rolling. First skipped message. Hey, Opie, what's up? One word of advice, you motherfucker. You suck. I hope he dies. I'll put a bomb in your radio station, you motherfucker. You fucking punk ass motherfucker. Pussy fucker. Radio edit. Better than you, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. If you move to more than you will lose in the radio. I swear to God, because of me and him. Radio edit. You fucking suck. You fucking bitch, pussy ass motherfucker. Have a nice day, you fucking punk. Wow. And... And that night. And you know what that'll get you? But six. Right there in Rikers. You think his voice is high now. Wait till he does a little more jail time. <clears throat> now, hearing that and knowing how fanatical this guy is, wouldn't you take it seriously? Hell yeah. Wouldn't you want it on record that he did indeed make such a threat with the police department? You would want it on record? You'd want to maybe shake him up with a night in the clinker? What, uh, whatever. We did what we had to do. But if you're going to tell the story on your show, you, you should give your listeners the facts. You knew damn well it wasn't a car bomb. I like how he says him and Radio Edit are going to, like, beat us. <laughs> Play that again. <laughs> i got to hear that again. Well, mother asshole. Well, can someone find out if uh, they dumped out of that? Because I don't even know. We didn't even uh, tell the bosses we were doing this today. It went through, definitely. Or, yeah. Could someone on instant feedback tell us if it went through? If one of your... Uh, no, I'm not even going to read that. What? 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 Line four. Mike. Mike. Hey, yeah. Mike. What's Hello. up? Hello. What's, what's, what's up? How's everybody doing? We're doing Very well. Good. I know, what's this deal about getting high-pitched Eric arrested for threatening to bomb your guys' cars? Did you just listen to the show? No. Okay. I don't listen to you guys. You guys are garbage. <laughs> yeah, okay. right. You know exactly who we are. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Keep listening. You guys got a lot of bull... Dude, you can't curse. You, if you want to be on the air... get you on the air if you're going to curse, You loser. can't curse. Uh, I'm sorry. And you know exactly who we are. You knew uh, what number to call. I have a little problem with my self-control. All right, yeah. well... <laughs> Everyone's laughing at you now, man. You just sound stupid. I don't care if you have a laughing at me. Whatever. Well, listen to the show and you will hear why he went to jail. Yeah. And, and we just gave you the real facts. You shouldn't listen to one side of the well, story. You should get all your facts before you make uh, your, uh, your uh, observation. Right. All right, well. You heard one side of the story I I... and we proved that that, that side was uh, drastically uh, exaggerated. Here comes his clever quip. Okay. Yes. All right, well, I don't have a uh, radio readily handy. You I mean, think, you think hold that... Hold on, hold on, no, don't cut me off. No, because uh, I'm going to comment, I'm going to um, respond to what you said. You thought that we I got him arrested correct. for... for uh, I might have been misinformed. For, for calling in a, a bomb threat because you thought he was going to blow up my car, right? Yeah. Okay, it wasn't that. He was going to blow up this radio station. Oh, the entire place? Yes. Oh, that's a, that's a little See, bit someone, bigger deal. Someone decided not to tell you that because because you know then it's a, the story is a little different. Did you have you a think? phone conversation recorded or anything like that? Oh my God, we just played it. You, you did. Play. Here, why don't you hang up with me? Isn't that a radio you got in the background? No, it's not a radio. I'm at my job. All right, Mike. To... Mike, get to a radio. One zero two seven. Yeah, I know where you're at. That's I'm gonna the replay the. Call. I'm gonna replay the call for you. As a matter of fact, I'll put you on hold so you can hear. There you go. All right, hold on. Hold on and listen. Come back. Hold on, and then you can yell at us after you Come hear back. the facts, okay? Come back to me, old buttercup. All right, let's, <laughs> let's play it for Mike, who's yes. got, got a, a got little bit of a confused. problem. He's got a wrong, uh, wrong information. First skipped message. Hey, Opie, what's up? One word of advice, you motherfucker. You suck. I hope you die. I'll put a bomb in your radio station, you motherfucker. You fucking punk-ass motherfucker. Pussy fucker. Radio edit. Better than you, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. If you move to more than you will lose in the radio. I swear to God, because of me and him. Radio edit. You fucking suck. You suck a bitch, pussy ass, motherfucker. Have a nice day, you fucking punk.
There you go. All right, Mike. Did you Hello, hear that? Mike. All right, I'm back with you. All right. Now, did you hear that? What warranted this reaction from him? <laughs> now you're trying to backpedal. <laughs> I, think, I think we're going to turn you into a listener by the end I of this like, call. I, I have like a feeling. No, no, no. I don't got time what for you. warranted that reaction I, from him? I, I don't He's know. A like, I don't understand that you guys should be jump, like, He's taking a... that as a threat from this guy. Well, come on. Why, wouldn't, wouldn't you? You would not take that as a threat. Well, have you ever seen this person before? Yeah. Yeah. He's been outside in that building millions of times. He's a lunatic. Yeah, now all a... of a sudden he's going to start bombing people? Well, well you know something? He makes too much money to bomb that place with you guys. He doesn't make any money, first of all, dude. He shouldn't. Well, he'll uh, make his little free show appearances, and he'll make more money than he'll do flipping burgers at Burger King. Well, you know, then he should have thought about that and not uh, make bomb threats to uh, Infinity Property. Well, I, you're, just, you're, I just want you to make sure you're... drastically you're... changing the life of an individual who really can't help himself do anything. Ah, uh, whatever. I hope he okay. gets it up to poop. Yeah, blame it on society. That's a good thing. But sex. Oh, oh. So, what, what are you doing to me, you mother effer? But sex. Oh, I like mine with syrup. But sex. So the story was uh, misreported in the post today. Yeah. He threatened the station, not not right. my car. Uh, what was the huh right after I put a bomb in your station? No, it was someone. Someone else was with That's him. That's what I need to know. But, uh, you know, the other side's not going to tell us that. They no. know exactly who was with him when he called my uh, voicemail with the bomb threat. Now you could hear and, it. And that person was basically saying, ah, yeah, like, like oh, hey, that. you know. You can't say that. You can't say put a bomb in your station. I wonder how much money he was paid. <laughs> uh, I hear 200 bucks is the going ring. <laughs> All right. They dumped out of what? What they dump out of now? No. Somebody said Vicky. They dumped out. What? They I don't think they dumped out of anything. Fine. Everything is cool. It's. Uh, she may. She may be getting uh, confused with our, our beeps that we put in there or something. Ah. Well, we had to just put the beeps in there. Yeah, because he's cursing, cursing like an idiot. I think you can figure out the curses though, right? Mm-hmm. All right. There you go. That should clear up everything. Someone didn't give you the facts today. That's the facts. Mm. It is what it is. you want with it. There it is. That's what happened. That's the actual call. It's not anyone's interpretation of the call. That's what we heard. And, uh, yeah, before Napster uh, closes down, uh, have, <laughs> have fun with it. I could see Lars on Napster going, oh, well, I got to get that one. I got to get the, the high-pitched Eric cursing and threatening to bomb the station. Napster's good for that. Threatens. It's funny listening to a high-pitched man trying to sound threatening. Well, you know something? He did a pretty good job of sounding threatening. Because uh, he sounded like a lunatic. He sounded like a nut. And that's uh, the type of things you take seriously. And he's allowed to continue working for the company. And, yeah, you, you can and do we, that. And, and we lost Cycle Mark. Yeah, that, that yeah. makes a lot of sense. We lose Mark. Cycle Mark. And this guy was on Radio Edit's show on Monday, talking about the very incident. All right, let's take a break, okay? What, what are you going to say? You're going to get us in trouble. What? Never mind. Forget about it. Yeah. What are you going to say? Oh, I just don't think it's... It, it's what, that's so wrong. And it, <laughs> I didn't shut you off. You're still... Shut Shut up! I saw you on your cell phone. You're trying to buy a limo for your limo company? <laughs> what is it, ignorant? Oh, I think we have Eric on the phone. Uh, what happened in uh, jail? Those men wanted to have sex with me. Wow, really? What type? But sex. Oh, yeah? What did your cellmate say uh, when you were leaving? Do you use your tongue prettier than a $20 whore? <laughs> what happened to your butt? How did it get like that? I got it from a Negro. <laughs> <laughs> ouch. Yeah, ouch is right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, let's uh, move. Uh, what? Let's move and on. And here's one of the things. John from Hoboken uh, puts it uh, in perspective. You know that Radio Edit would have a freaking cow. He'd be ranting about that kind of threat every hour, every day for the rest of the week if it were against him. You're damn right. You're damn right, John. Um, 
Anthony? We have something in writing. We have, uh... Oh, this is... Where did, where did you find this? What is actually, this? Actually, uh, we got a couple copies, and, and one of the uh, people that work here made a copy, had it in her desk, and forgot about it until we just played that piece. Oh, wait a minute. Is that a letter from him? Yes, yes it, is. it is, Anthony. Oh, great. <laughs> cool. I, I, let's, uh, let's send this over to uh, Radio Edit Show. All right, why don't you read it? Let me see. Why don't you let's read see it? this one. This is an actual letter. We'll get a picture of it and put it on the unofficial website. I, I, I like someone to prove that that's not his handwriting and his signature. Same guy that uh, that left the uh, the bomb threat on my voicemail, Anthony. That he's going to blow yeah. up the radio station. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm 27 years old. I live in Forest Hills. I work for a mid-sized accounting firm for the administration department. I make some appearances on Radio Edit's show. My nickname is High Pitch Eric. I've been on the East Show about seven or eight times. I just love the afternoon show and would like to work for the show. <laughs> Anything they want me to do, I'll do it. I don't get paid by the uh, Radio Edit show. I just love radio and would like to get into radio. I was recently on 1025 K Don in California doing a morning show for a week with a guy named Bruce. What, uh, I don't know. Who used to work, uh, blah, 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 P and PLJ. I was also on Masterpiece Theater. Why? He's a babbling idiot. Basically, it's a letter wanting to work for not only this radio station, our show, Anthony. Right. Because he loves the afternoon show. <laughs> I would love to meet you tomorrow after work. This, is, this was for, uh, a letter written to Rick, our producer, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So we would love to meet you tomorrow. This is, I mean, this goes back a while. And he faxed it. Here's right. my number. Yeah. Please fax me. I'll meet you guys. I'm very funny at all times <laughs> and also entertaining. <laughs> we'll have a good morning, and I'll talk to you tonight at 630. Thank you, Rick. Yours truly, Eric. He gives his last name, but for now, we'll hold back on that. It's another one, yeah. Have, same thing. Call me. Call me. Here's my number. Have a good one. Thanks, Rick. Eric. There you go. More proof of how much he l likes the show. And we ignored him, and then he throws, he throws a bomb threat at us. All right, and as we go to break, one more time. Yeah. Just in case you didn't get it. And we'll be back. First skit message. Hey, Opie, what's up? One word of advice, you mother f You suck. I hope you die. I'm going to bomb in your radio station, you mother hey. You fucking punk ass mother Pussy f Radio edit. Say it's new, mother Let me tell you something. If you move to more than you will lose in the radio. I swear to God, because of me and Radio edit. You f***ing suck. You suck a bitch, pussy ass. Motherfucker, have a nice day, you punk. All right, uh, one last time we should play this phone call as we go to break, and then we got to get into like Charlton Heston and uh, rehab. Yeah, um, I'm a drunk. Did you read that one uh, instant feedback I gave you? Oh, uh, yes. Very interesting, right, Anthony? Yeah, yeah. The whole uh, being called uh, pussies in the paper today. Someone was calling us a couple of uh, pussies. Uh, I read that, Anthony. Yeah. Another article about uh, about us. Because we had uh, somebody who uh, made a bomb threat to this very station. Um, well, run through the system, as they say. You know what I mean? Run through the system. And for that, uh, we're pussies, I guess. Yeah, we're pussies. I don't know. No. Well, we played it earlier, so we're going to play the uh, phone call again. There was a bomb threat left on my voicemail, and the Post picked up on the story. Wrote a huge, huge story about it today. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're taking some heat because we had someone arrested and thrown in jail, and I think they were violated. <laughs> was was violation? Uh, well, I, I I can't confirm that. Thing. Yeah? I can't confirm that, Amp, but... Uh, See, if Psycho Mark was still with us, he could have gone to uh, Rikers and uh, seen if he got the two-point conversion. <laughs> Someone... Uh, I got the two-point conversion! But thing. You know that he was only held for questioning, but it took uh, it took a long time for them to get to him. <laughs> 
Whoops. Well, you can hold somebody 24 hours, yeah. right? Yeah. I think even 48. So. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. We're being called pussies. We're being, uh, someone is saying, don't don't we know the difference between a real bomb threat and, and uh, a fake one? Oh, yeah. Which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Yeah. Also, it was reported that it was a bomb threat made about my car. See what happens when you support the police department. Even though, uh, even though this per person knows that it wasn't my car that was threatened, Anthony. No, uh, which leads me to believe that uh, uh, listeners were being um, given false information. Yeah, like why? Why would they say that it was a car bomb threat when it absolutely wasn't? It was a threat against an Infinity property, W N E W. Right. Maybe because uh, I could speculate here. It might be because somebody wanted to uh, keep somebody on their show. You know what I mean? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if it's a you know bomb threat, it's bad enough. If it's a car, a threat against a car. But if it's a threat against another Infinity property, uh, that man would be banished from uh, appearing on any radio shows that are broadcast over an infinity station well you would who would who in their right mind would allow someone to make a bomb threat against a company and then have that person uh, free reign to walk and participate uh on uh, those companies airways right insane so you know we had it we had it so we broke out the the phone call in question anthony that everyone seems to be talking about today yeah and uh we want to play it and you can yeah. take from it what you, what you will. Yeah, we're we, we're not like uh, talking about it. Uh, we're playing the actual tape that was left on Opie's answering machine. And when, when when you're sitting back in your car listening to this, what would you have done? Seriously, if this was on your voicemail, mm -hmm. you could hear the anger. Mm -hmm. and, and should we bring up the letter again or no? Oh, the letter's great. <laughs> That's great. Letters. The, the same guy was uh, trying to get a job on our show, telling us how, how he really loves the afternoon show and <clears throat> wants to talk to Rick after the show about what he could do for us, and we completely blew him off. This guy's ripping off Ted Kaczynski. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, here it is. And not, not to backtrack, but this is a great line. You know, we told your bank story and how yeah. you found out there was uh, only $14 left. Yeah. What a wise-ass. Roger from Huntington Village. Yeah. So, Ant, did you withdraw $7? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I did. You wise-ass. I want my half. That's a great line. Go ahead, Ant. Uh, this is from High Pitch Eric. He, he would often, uh, often uh, fax us and uh, email us and send us uh, regular mail correspondence. And here's a letter. It says, uh, Rick... I, I live in Forest Hills, Queens. I work for a mid-sized accounting firm for the administration department. I make some appearances on the Radio Edit Show. My nickname is High Pitch Eric. I've been on the E! Show about seven or eight times. I just love the afternoon show and would love to work for the show. Anything they want me to do, I'll do. I don't get paid by Radio Edit. I just love radio and would like to get into radio. Well, maybe they have a work release program. <laughs> I was recently on a station in California. He says he was on PLJ and on Masterpiece Theater. And now on Masterpiece Theater. Uh, I would love to meet you tomorrow after work at 6. Wow, Rick. Wow. <laughs> hey. I would love to come to the station. The best time to call me is tonight at 6.30 when I get home. My number is... We have it. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have it. Please fax me uh, and let you, me know this would... You would like to get together and meet me tomorrow. Hmm. And then there's different times he's... Back. I'm very funny at all times, and I'm also entertaining. Well, have a good morning, and I'll talk to you tonight at 6.30. Thank you, Rick. Yours truly, Eric. Uh, there's his last name. We have that, too. Oh, yes. Keeping what? it in reserve. Uh, loser. And I could, by all legal rights, blurt out his last name and address and everything else, because it is public record. Mm -hmm. you know? But, hey, we're being nice.
You only had an evening in the clinker. But, say. Yes, well, that must have been angry and bad for you, but. Oh, here's another one. Another letter that arrived. We have a bunch of them. It's handwritten with a signature. Busted. Um, this could establish, I don't know, maybe he's plotting or something. Good morning, Rick. How are you doing? Just wanted to know what's going on for tonight. If I can come up or maybe tomorrow night, I would love to meet you guys. If you can't meet tonight, do you want to meet for a drink tomorrow night after the show? <laughs> this guy likes you, dude. I have a good thing I can do if you want to this weekend. What? I could ask people what they think of Opie and Anthony's show on NEW. Please fax me some questions to ask. Uh, fax me before 3.30 so I know what to do tonight. Let me know about tomorrow night. My fax number is... We have it. Have a good one. Thanks, Rick. Eric. There you go. He really wanted to participate on this program. Yeah. Much, to the, much to the chagrin of some uh, other uh, radio show's fans. Uh, no, we don't want uh, that on this program. He's not the first one to call us either. A lot of absolutely them, not. A lot of them call us. What's the opposite of small white? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, we got a couple of phone calls. Um, but <laughs> this guy seems like a scorned bitch. Is what happened. He got a little scorned from uh, from us. Um, I think somebody may have informed uh, the people on the show that he was he is on all the time. Radio edit that um, he was calling us, and they laid into him and said, hey, what are you doing? So now he, he trying to make good in Fredo fashion, he uh, leaves this voicemail. Yeah, and, and... Amongst others. We have gotten many voicemails. I got, a, I got a few others, and, and you know what? You just weren't given the facts this morning when someone else was explaining this. No. Someone, someone was downplaying it. I mean, it's pretty serious, and we're taking it serious. And uh, and that's that. So, yeah. so here it is. No, hey. After those nice letters to Rick, when Rick did not return his calls and faxes and his offer for a drink and things he could do, <laughs> he left uh, this. Uh, this this is gay rage. This is horrid. <laughs> yeah, he left this. Listen to this. What would you have done? First skipped message. Hey, Opie, what's up? One word of advice, you motherfucker. You suck. I hope you die. I'll put a bomb in your radio station, you mother hey. You fucking punk ass mother fucker. Pussy fucker. Radio edit. Better than you, mother fucker. Let me tell you something. If you move to more than you will lose in the radio. I swear to God, because of me and Radio edit. You fucking suck. You fucking bitch, pussy ass mother fucker. Have a nice day, you fucking punk. Oh, you wow, go. that's a guy I want working for our show, huh? I like how he goes. And me and Radio Edit are going <laughs> to... Oh, yeah. And someone yeah. helped him with that call. There's someone else in that. Yeah, there's somebody that says, Eric, or Eric, or hey. It sounds like Eric. Like, like Eric, like, like oh, my God, they're listening to him. I'll leave this message. And then when he says the bomb threat, they even knew he was being an a-hole and getting himself in trouble uh, with, with, with uh, saying a bomb threat. So you hear him go, Eric, to a radio station. Federal offense, pal. There you go. That's the real deal. Not the sugar-coated version. That was a car bomb. <laughs> oh. That's something. <laughs> what? That call, I, I love hearing that every time I hear it. It's just, it's just, it gets better and better, doesn't it? Oh my God! You you know what you, you and it's a shame you cannot get the full impact of it with it bleep like that, because just the the tone in the effing, you know, mother effer, the whole tone of the word itself is just vile, angry, nasty, insane. <laughs> play it again. 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 <laughs> that trick never works. <laughs> Whoa, dude. Impression? Uh-oh. Drink up, people. Come on. Was that close enough? <laughs> I hope he did a, an impression. That trick never works. 
Close. I mean, I wasn't that so bad. Could do some impression. Hey, Rock, what happened to your voice? <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, all right, we'll play it again. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll be back with Charlton Heston and Rehab. Hey, I'm junk. As we play this, uh, WWF is back at the mecca of all arenas. We're talking. Madison Square Garden, Saturday. They serve booze there. <laughs> we'll get I need my booze. <laughs> we'll get to you in a minute, Mr. Heston. Damn you, I'm a drunk. <laughs> uh, Madison Square Garden, Saturday, September 23rd. We have your chance to win tickets before you can buy them. Tickets go on sale Tuesday, August 8th at 10 a.m. through Ticketmaster. We got a pair of tickets for the 10th caller and a pair of tickets for the 11th caller. 212-757-1027. First skits message. Hey, Opie, what's up? One word of advice. You motherfucker. You suck. I hope you die. I'm gonna bomb in your radio station, you mother <laughs> You fucking punk ass motherfucker. Pussy fuck. Radio edit. Better than you, motherfucker. Let me tell you something. If you move to more news, you will lose in the radio. I swear to God, because of me and Radio edit. You fucking suck. You suck a bitch, pussy ass motherfucker. Have a nice day, you fucking this. All right, what's the problem? Oh, boy. What's the problem? What's the, the problem? Em the emperor is not happy with his coffee. Oh, no. Are we going to have to break into uh, Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee Diva. Coffee Diva. Look at that cup. What, 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 what brand is on that cup? I don't know. Um, it doesn't taste good. I don't like it. Where do we get our coffee every day? I like Starbucks. I like Starbucks. And I don't like supporting the savages, savages. that run most of these delis. You're no, insane. Yup. You yep. betcha. You might be right. Yeah. What is this? You want to taste this? Oh, oh, oh. Wow, that's really nice. What, what, what? Throw it against the wall. Not not against I'm a diva. I want Starbucks coffee. You betcha. Jim Norton. Norton. Coffee diva. Coffee diva. I know Starbucks is a big world order type of thing. But at least they're not funding terrorism. I was walking down the street and some construction guy was shouting at me. Hey, show me your cans. So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great. Please, wow responsibly. A public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. 